Hey guys, my name's Emmett Baber and I'm with Fidgets to Widgets, which is a pretty cool place where we use video games to teach kids. Today I'm going to be telling you why you should let your kid play Dominion. Dominion is a deck building card game where you play a fabulously wealthy person on your way to even more fame and fortune. Your deck represents your dominion or your kingdom. On your turn, you purchase cards to add to it that are various assets or resources. You buy bakers, you buy soothsayers and mines and villages. You can purchase whole villages in this game, and they're really good. And you can also buy spies and thieves and saboteurs to go mess up your opponent's decks. You're trying to get as much value out of as few turns as possible. You win at the end of the game when you have the most victory points. That happens when you run out of provinces in the province pile, which are the highest value victory point card, or three sets of ten cards in the supply are depleted. Rushing a deck that's efficient in the early game, but peters out in the late game, can be an effective strategy if you have the buying force to end the game early. Meanwhile, if you can extend the game for as long as possible using attack cards, you can let your deck become massive and build for endgame. This is a game where you can start talking with your kid about the idea of mathematical curves, where you can start talking about probability in a large sense. Sometimes it is the luck of the draw, but you can manipulate that luck. So if you want a fun, engaging, and interesting way to talk to your kid about large-scale mathematical concepts, or if you just want to sit down and have a bunch of fun, I highly recommend Dominion. Dominion as a card game purchased from the board game store is probably about $40, $40 or $50 a box, but it's just come to the Apple Store and to the uh, Google Play Store. So you can get it on your mobile device or tablet and play with your friends, play with bots, play with whoever you want, and purchase those card packs for slightly cheaper through their digital storefront. And trust me, it is a pain to keep track of all of the cards once you have a bunch of expansions. Hey there. I hope I explained it thoroughly enough, but if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the doobly-doo, and I'll do my doobly to get back to you as soon as possible. As always, stay curious.